the big question on everyone's minds right now is, is 2019 going to be another bumpy year? Is, is volatility kind of in the rear view now? Or is this going to be another kind of knife edge situation for market participants? I think we can be pretty sure there's going to be more volatility. Um, start by having a look at 2018 and the volatility we've had the last 10 years or so. You can see there's been a bit of a pickup in volatility at the end here. This is just the most recent sell-off. It's not yet even as big as the pickup in volatility we had back in January, February, which is this spike here. Now that, that was really scary at the time for people, but very quickly forgotten because of technicalities. But volatility now is a lot being driven by fundamentals, by the discussion around the trade war between the US and China, a bad outcome uh, from the trade war would mean higher tariffs, would mean uh, damage to the economy and certainly hurt the stock market, um, and also the broader economy itself. US has been fine, but you've really got to look at problems in Europe, uh, problems in emerging markets. China's been in a bad state too, much slower than expected. and. Uh, the US, of course, may also be slowing, although, again, people are watching this on a day-to-day -day basis to see as every data point comes out. But I want to get to the bull case, because we've talked so much about the negative things that could happen. People are relatively bearish. What could go right? What would be the, the case for stocks to rally in 2019? Well, the, the, if we have a quick resolution to the trade war, if the economy turns out to be fine after all, um, frankly, you could get stocks off to the races again. Now, I don't think they're going all that way up. There's good reason to think about that. You mentioned the Fed. Right. There is, of course, a, a natural kind of ceiling there where if you do get this pickup in economic activity and global growth is strong, then not only do you get the Fed picking up the pace potentially on rate increases, but the European Central Bank starts to think about their first rate increase and it seems like there's a cap there. And of course, we remember the beginning of 2018 consensus was that growth would be strong and synchronized around the world. We were in for another fantastic year of earnings growth was looking spectacular, and it all turned out to be horrifically wrong. Um, so maybe you could tell me a bit about the consensus now. We've got a great chart on kind of profit forecasts. What are people yeah. thinking now and how could they also be horrifically wrong? Well, you can see here that at the moment people have started to anticipate that 2019 earnings, that's the top line, will be slightly lower than they had thought a couple of months ago, but still really much higher than at the start of the year and still a decent amount higher than this year's earnings. Now, that seems OK, right? We, we, we like earnings. Shareholders like earnings. This is good for shareholders. That could help. A bull run. And of course you've got the same thing with economic growth where it's forecast to be slower but few people expect an outright recession. Is this a, is this a good time to be adding into your kind of risk assets? Well we should think about sentiment here. Um, if we pull up this chart this is just one measure of sentiment. This is the sentiment of uh, uh, investment newsletter writers. Um, funny measure but it seems to be broadly compatible with every other measure of sentiment. Um, you can see that the sentiment earlier this year, back in January, was at uh, the highest it's been since the recession. People really felt very good about the markets. Uh, and now they really don't. That's come off. The bullishness has evaporated. But they're not outright bearish yet. They're not. There's, there's no deep gloom. So people, you know, the, the headlines may be about the sky falling in but the gloom hasn't really taken hold yet. So there you go, some of our predictions for 2019, of course, with the caveat that most predictions for 2018 were completely wrong, uh, unless you were James. Yeah, it's good to get lucky from time to time. <laughs>